Hello everybody, Stop and Player. Today we're going to be reviewing LEGO Jurassic World Dominion Pteranodon Chase. This set features a Pteranodon with two exclusive minifigs of Owen Grady and Maisie. Now this is the 4 plus set from the Jurassic World Dominion set series, but that's okay, it is still a great set. So without further ado, let's stop talking and get to the review. So, as always, we're going to take a quick look at the packaging. As we can see here, it is a LEGO Jurassic World Dominion set. We get the set number, the set name, as well as the piece count, and the age down here at the bottom. On the right hand side bottom, we do have Maisie, Owen Grady, and the Pteranodon included in this set. Up in the top right, we have the Pteranodon breaking through the amber bricks. And of course, we get a nice shot of everything on the front, with some background images. As far as the top of the box, we do have the logos again, as well as information of where it was made. Maisie and Owen Grady with some minifig pieces there as well. An actual size minifig picture of Maisie included in this set. Along the left hand side, we do get the Lego logo again, as well as information of do not give this to children under 3. Then along the bottom, we do have a Lego, Lego Life, Recyclables, Legalese, and Learn to Build in different languages, as well as the barcode. On the right hand side we do get the logos again as well as the name of the set in different languages and that Pteranodon image again. As far as the back we do get extra pictures of everything included in the set, the Lego logo again, as well as of course the learn to build since this is a 4 plus set. But that is it for the packaging. Next up are the two included minifigs in the set, Owen Grady and Maisie. Taking a look at Owen Grady first. As far as accessories go, he does come with this gold lasso to lasso the Pteranodon if he gets the opportunity. But we do get some face printing on this minifig and he does come with two different faces. One where he's smirking, then of course one where he's angry. We do get the usual Owen Grady hair piece, but we do get a different shirt piece this time. A nice flannel red that does have printing on the front as well as the back. As far as printing on the legs, we do get some belt printing as well as some pocket printing on the legs. But that's pretty much it for Owen Grady. Next up is Maisie here. Her accessory that she is holding is of course a fishing pole with a fish on the end of it. As far as face printing, we do get two different faces as well. One where she's pretty much fine, then of course one where she's determined. Now she also comes with Torso printing, we do have some torso printing on the front of a jacket and undershirt. Then of course, that printing does extend to the back. But that's pretty much it for Maisie, we do not have any leg printing on her. But that is fine, still a great minifig to have. But that's it for the minifigs in the set. Next up of course is the dinosaur included in this set, and the dinosaur included in the set is the Pteranodon. And as far as detailing on this dinosaur, we do have some printing on the face including some dark blue and bright yellow eyes. Just giving you a look on each side of the face. As far as the wings, we do get a nice dark blue that fades into light blue, and the legs are light blue as well. Now this is not the first time that we've seen Pteranodons in LEGO Jurassic World sets, so nothing new here. As far as articulation goes, the head can move up and down of course, and the wings can flap up and down as well. That's pretty much it for your Pteranodon. So next up is of course Owen Grady's truck and this is the 4 plus built in the set. So it is pretty basic but it still gets the point across. You can tell that it is a truck here. It does of course come with 4 wheels because what truck doesn't? And as far as storage we do get nice clips here in the back with a pair of binoculars clipped on right here. And as far as printing details we do have this piece in the front of a grill and headlights. It's always nice to see these printed pieces in the 4 plus sets so that way the younger kids don't have to worry about sticking stickers on. But of course we cannot see the truck without its driver so this is where you can take Owen Grady of course and stick him in there. Now of course since Owen Grady is having to capture the Pteranodon he's not going to be sitting down. He's going to be standing up so that way whenever you have your Pteranodon fly in Owen Grady can try to catch him. But that's it for the truck in this set. Last but not least is this fish stand build that we have here. And for a 4 plus set, it's not bad at all. As we can take a look here, we do have a fish Lego up here at the top. We have a crab here in the stand, as well as a silver fish. We have a nice little bench here, that way you can take one of your mini figs and sit them on there. Now there is no pegs, so you will have to be careful because they will slide off without any pegs. But it's still a nice little detail. 
We do have a nice little tree here in the back and a green trash can here in the corner. Now to make it look like this is along the seashore, we do have some planks here to make it look like a dock. That way you can take Maisie, have her stand on one of the pegs and make it look like she's fishing. And overall, nice little build to tie the whole set together. And there you have it folks, LEGO Jurassic World Dominion Tyrannodon Chase has just been completely reviewed. Overall, this is a great set to have. You get two exclusive minifigs with a flannel shirt, Owen Grady, and a Maisie without a toboggan. This is not the first time that we've gotten a Pteranodon, but it is still a dinosaur and a Jurassic World set, so I cannot complain. However, I will stipulate that this set does seem to try to capture a scene from the beginning of the movie where Owen Grady is chasing down the duck-billed dinosaur because of his truck and lasso. And I really wish they decided to capture this moment in the movie instead of giving us a set that's not exactly in the movie. I do understand why they didn't do it because they do not have a mold for the duck-billed dinosaur, but I believe that if they would have done that, that would have taken this set the extra mile. Now if you are looking to purchase this set, this set will cost you about $20 depending on where you buy it from. So if you enjoyed this set, you should probably go to your local store and see if they have it. But that's my thoughts, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like this set? Is it a good set for a 4 plus set? And do you wish they would have captured a specific moment from the movie instead of giving us one that doesn't really coincide? Last but not least, if you enjoyed the video, be sure you like the video, comment down below, and subscribe so that way you're not missing a thing. And thanks for watching.